minimal pocket 6k rig a few months back i did another video talking about how i rigged out my pocket 6k and since then i've made quite a few changes to this rig and one of the main reasons i did that is i've realized a lot of the work that i do can often be running gun work and work that is done as a one-man band and one of the things i really don't like about rigs to be honest is the weight of them so when building out this rig i had three main criterias and that was one for it to be minimal so not have too many parts one for it to be lightweight so therefore not too heavy when i'm holding when i'm doing handheld work and the third is that i wanted it to all run off one battery so what i'll do now is let me let me jump into showing you how i build out this rig from scratch so you can see all the parts first thing i do is add the protector for the usb-c port i just detach the magnetic part off and i place it into the port here and then i attach the other part of the adapter which avoids the port, which avoids the wire wiggling around because the wire is attached to this part versus being directly attached to the port. As you can see, the camera is just bare bones and the only thing attached so far, the magnetic right angle USB adapter. So what I'll do now is add the Manfrotto 501 tripod plate. So the next thing I'll do is I'll attach the top plate onto the top of the camera. So I just use the quarter 20 um, mountain point at the top of the 6K. So next what I'll do is I'll attach a NATO rail onto the top of this top plate so that I can use the NATO rail to attach my top handle. Next, I will attach the SSD holder. Next, I'm gonna attach the top handle, which is the Nitsy little stinger. When I'm attaching top handles, I always like to attach them in this orientation rather than having them the other way around because I feel it gives better stability. And in terms of balancing a rig, holding it like this, I find it more comfortable. Next is attach another NATO rail. By this time, I'm gonna attach it onto the front of the top handle because when I'm attaching the monitor, I don't wanna attach it on top on this part of the top handle because that would make the rig a bit too high. I like to keep a rig that's not too tall. Next, I'm gonna take my Feelworld five inch monitor and I'm gonna attach the small rig uh, NATO monitor mount. I simply attach it to the NATO rail, which I've added to the front of the top handle. Next, I'm gonna attach the lens. And in a lot of these cases, as I mentioned, I use the Vespid Prime 25 millimeter lens. So I'll just attach that on now. So as you can see, the rig is quite front heavy because you can see it's toppling over. So what I'll do now is I'll attach the small rig um mpf battery plate and what i'll do is i will place that at the back of the top handle to add some additional weight towards the back of the camera which will help with balancing out the rig next i take the mpf battery and i attach it to the small rig battery plate and that should help balance out the rig even more as you can see now it's not leaning towards the front it sits perfectly when laid on a flat surface you got good balance in terms of the rig next i add this right angle USB adapter and place it in here. I will take this USB-C cable and attach that. Next, I'll place the SSD into the SSD holder. Just connect that to the camera using USB-C to USB-C cable. And what I like to do is I like to wrap this cable around the side of the SSD and through the clamps, just so that you've got the cables kind of a little bit more tidier. Next, I'm going to take a coiled HDMI cable going from the monitor to the camera. Next, I'll attach this cable, which I use to power up the 6K Fider MPF battery. So now we have everything connected. We have everything attached to the rig for the minimal setup. So now what I'll do is I'll work on the cable management. So what I like to use is these little Velcro ties. I just simply go around and make sure that I tidy up some of the cables because I don't want dangling cables everywhere. So in my previous rig, the foundation of that was the small rig POG 6K half cage. And I didn't want a full cage because I wanted to keep it a little bit lighter, but that still added a bit of weight. So I had this top plate previously for my pocket 4K. And I thought, let me just utilize this as part of a new, a new rig for my 6K. So what I like about this top plate is that it has 
so many different mounting options and it allows me to use this top plate as the basis for setting up this rig. With this top plate, I'm able to connect the SSD holder. I'm also able to connect the top handle. This rig to be powered off of just one battery. And I'm able to do this with this Sony MPF battery, which is fairly lightweight. What's so great about this combination of using a small rig MPF battery plate and the Sony MPF battery, I'm able to power everything off of the one Sony MPF battery. This battery gives me about three hours shoot time if I'm shooting at 25p in 6K. These batteries are much cheaper than V-mount batteries. So for the price of one V-mount, I can probably get three of these Sony MPF batteries. Whenever I'm going on the shoot, I'll take around three or four and I'm guaranteed to have enough power throughout the shoot. You can see the power levels on the battery, but also the small rig battery plate also has a green light that lets you know that you're fully charged. If your battery power starts dying, it will turn red and if you're really low on battery it'll start flashing red okay so i just want to pause the video here because i just noticed whilst i was editing there was something i forgot to mention now another method people use when using these sony mpf batteries is that they keep a canon lpe6 battery inside the camera so these are the internal batteries that use for 6k the reason they do this is because it will allow you to hot swap out your sony mpf battery whilst you're still recording. The Pocket 6K sees it as powering your camera through AC power. And if you take that off and you still have a Canon LPE6 battery inside the camera, you'll still be able to continue recording and you won't lose any power when you take out the MP. Because what I've noticed is that if you leave the Canon LPE6 battery inside the camera all of the time, you don't get as much runtime out of these batteries. I don't know if it's because it charges the battery at the same time, but I've done numerous tests, even if the Canon LP6 battery is fully charged, when it's inside the camera and the Sony MPF battery is attached, I get less recording time with the Sony MPF battery. The big problem that users of the Pocket 4K and 6K have is that the USB-C ports on these cameras can go. They're, they're very fragile. A lot of people will buy, will use a cage and then use a protector both for the USB-C port as well as the HDMI port. I found that the HDMI port for me has never had any issues. I never had any issues on my 4K or have had any issues on my 6K. But the USB-C port on my 4K, that broke. And I wasn't using a USB-C clamp to protect the USB-C cable from wiggling around and causing damage to the port. So as I wanted to keep this lightweight and simple and I didn't want a cage with it, one of the things that I lost by not having a cage is that I wasn't able to put a protector or a clamp should I say, to protect the USB-C port as I like to record direct onto SSD. Having the SSD plugged in to the POC 6K without any kind of clamp protecting the cable from any movement um, inside the port whilst I'm filming might damage the port. So I did a little bit of research to see if there was any clamps that you could you know, use on the 6K, even if you didn't have a cage. I couldn't find anything, but I found a video. I'll link that video in the description below whereby he shows how you can use these magnetic USB-C um, adapters. Similar to a clamp, it will reduce the movement in the port. If there is any movement, even with a lot of force, it will just it will just break the magnetic field between this part of the adapter and the other part of the adapter that's inside the USB-C port, but it's not impacting the USB-C port. Nothing is wiggling around in there. So that's gonna protect your port. What I really like about this rig is that it still gives me options to mount audio accessories so that if I do wanna capture audio as part of my run and gun setup, I can. So what I did was I took a small rig NATO clamp, placed that onto, onto the NATO rail part of the top plate, and then I placed the cold shoe adapter. And then I've taken one of the small rig monitor mounts and I've placed the shotgun mic on it. And the reason I've used the small rig monitor mount to mount the mic is that it allows me to place the mic at an angle towards the right so that it gives me enough space for holding the top handle whilst the mic is on. In a situation if I'm filming and I'm using lavalier mics, the transmitter will be attached to the talent and then the receiver will be attached to the camera. So what I've done to do that is I've just taken another cold shoe adapter and attached that to the top handle and that gives me a place to place receiver for the Rode Wireless Go. This top plate is so versatile, it gives you the option to attach a 15 millimeter rod if you do want to use a follow focus on this. In the scenario, if I did want to use a follow focus, I could still do that with this setup. Finding out I'm able to still focus and get the shot the way I want it by nailing focus handheld 
and it also keeps the weight down and a big part of this was I wanted to keep it minimal and as few accessories as possible. In situations where I know I'm gonna have a really long interview, I can just use a V-mount battery if I need to. I can just take a mini V-mount plate and attach that, let's say, to the top handle and place a V-mount battery on there and then power up the camera through that V-mount. So that's my new minimal setup for my Pocket 6K. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try and place links in the description for where maybe, for where you can pick up some of these parts. I'm not sure if this top plate is still available. If I am able to find it, I'll put links where it's available. But if you can't find it, there are some other top plates similar to this, but I don't think they work as well for how I've set it up. But I know there is one from Tilta and I think there is one from Nicey Rig. So maybe you can try and see if you can create something similar using one of those top plates. But I just wanted to make this video just to show you guys how I'm setting up my 6K and maybe you can get some ideas from it for your rigs as well. But guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please drop this video a like. It does help out the channel. If you're finding my videos useful, please subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments what you thought of the setup and how you're setting up your Pocket 6K. But for now, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.